What's up guys, Shane here from Figadec 3D Printing. Today we're checking out some PLA from Rep Wrapper. Welcome back guys. So I said we have some PLA here from Rep Wrapper. We actually have four different colors from them. And that is because they want me to do some prints with their filament. But before I do that, I should probably review it as I have never tested their filament before. We have a red, we have a natural white, and then we have a silver. So a good assortment of colors. I think we're gonna go ahead and do the, let's do the white. I can use black for doing some uh, other prints, some props and things like that. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and print the white out. Uh, well, I guess I should look here. So first off, they, they do have one of the most unique boxes as it is full color and they have a bunch of sample prints on the side of it of uh, things that they've done. So some gears, some vases, some glasses, a little motorcycle, multi-part, multi-color motorcycle. And uh, it tells us here on the side what it is. It's white. Um, it is 1.75 millimeter, 190 to 240. Whoa, that is a huge range for this. Uh, this is found on Amazon. Uh, they actually did have just a deal like on Black Friday for pretty cheap recently. Um, but okay, so now we get to the spool and it is gold. It is very gold. Uh, there's a big old silica pack in the middle. It's a very tight vacuum seal and it is a non Ziploc bag. So, there's our silica pack. Ooh, man, that's got a stink to it. Whew. Well, that smells like something burnt. It's dissipating now, but it smells like something's burnt. Ugh. Um, so here, the sticker on the spool is exactly the same as on the side of the box. It is a super duper flimsy spool holder, as I can bend it out like this. It's pretty deformed as well because the vacuum seal was so tight and this is so flimsy that it's able to press that in. The wind is okay. We're gonna give this a five out of 10. There's some decent crisscrosses through there. So it was not wound with the best of care. And even the, the spool is not totally round because it's soft. I can actually squeeze that right there. So that's not completely round. So that's not going to spin as nicely as it probably should. This is a bargain filament. Like I think this went down to under $10 over Black Friday weekend. I saw it pretty cheap Cyber Monday week. It was pretty cheap. So uh, we'll see how this ends up doing. If this spool prints out well, I'll be able to use these other spools to print out some projects with it then I might be able to recommend it. But right now, I'm gonna throw this on some printers and find out how it does. Alright, so I'm back with the Rep Wrapper White PLA. Rep Wrapper sent me a couple other spools. I think mostly PLA. I think it sent me a couple other ones as well. I'll be checking out here in the near future. But these are printed entirely on the Prusa i3 Mark III. I normally try to print filaments on different printers, but I was actually doing several at the same time. So I kind of dedicated one printer to do each one of them. It is a direct drive, but with PLA, it really doesn't matter. These are all printed on the textured PEI sheet. I thought I used different ones, but I didn't. The textured PEI sheet can be hit and miss with certain filaments, so that's why I actually have about five different services now that I use on that printer for different types of filament, uh, different colors, or different complexity of filaments because some that have a lot of support, I use something that's a lot grippier, something that's just a plain flat surface, you can use just a straight PEI sheet and it works out really well. But these were also very intricate prints and I want to take a closer look at them. All right, so here we have my Maker Coin first up. And this white is a little bit soft white. It's not quite like that bright vibrant, but it's not really that milky. It's kind of like right in between. And it turned out really good. So, I mean, everything filled in just nicely. If you look in there, see it's all nice and filled in. No issues anywhere there. The sidewalls, everything turned out real nice. And underneath where the support was, everywhere turned out pretty good. There was a little bit of some issue here. I don't know what that was from 
but that could have been uh, something just didn't settle properly. And it did okay around the, on the cogs here. There was a little bit of some flat points in there, as you kind of see that. So that, that is the filament, that's not really the printer, but it does have that textured PEI uh, on there, as you can see that there. Overall, it was end up being a pretty good print. Uh, just again, just a little bit of weird here on the sides. Next, I have the Fossil Fish, which is another one I have not printed in a while. I printed this on this recent tranche of filaments just because, but it came right off the bed real nicely. It stuck very well onto that textured PEI, which was nice to see. Uh, there's no real inconsistencies anywhere. Again, it did over this very small, like super smidgen amount of bridging right here, but that happens. And uh, on this eye without support, the eye also has just a little bit of droop in there, which is okay. But again, overall, this is a good print. Now for a super detailed print, I did this Celtic skull, which has like another skull in there and it's got all this craziness going on in it. So there's lots and lots of details going on there and it printed fantastically. So everything was, looks how it should. There's no real inconsistencies anywhere. Uh, it did really good bridging on this chin, this cheek here, this cheekbone. As you can see, it's it's pretty extreme hangover there. This one, there's actually a flaw in the model because I printed this on several different machines, several different uh, filaments, and this always is this way. So I might try and fix the model, see if I can tune that up a little bit, and that way it actually print will print better. But yeah, it captured all the details. You know, the printer obviously is a good printer. It's the i3 Mark III but the filament kept up really nicely at, this was 80 millimeters a second, so printed pretty fast and still had great details. Speaking of detail, I had to do a little benchy boat, but there was a bit of string in there, so I think my temperature for this model in particular was just a little too hot at 210 degrees. I was printing a little fast, so I tend to bump up my temperature just a little bit, but it stuck really good on that first layer. There's a little bit of something on there. I don't know what that was, something on the nozzle, I guess. But you I mean you can almost read the thing on the back. It's too hard because it's white. In person, you can almost read it right there. But this is put it at a 0.15 millimeter layer height, so super detailed. Could do 0.1, but I didn't want to wait like eight hours for this to print. Uh, 0.15 was still quite a long print. But everything, everything filled in just nicely in there, as you can see. So a little bit of stringy, but other than that, great print. Okay, here's the Nefertiti bust. Now this is off of the i3 Mark III SD card. So this comes stock sliced on the printer. I think this is at a 0.15 millimeter layer height. So it's quite a long print, but there was something weird. I've never printed this before. And I was this right here. I'm not sure if that's part of the model or just how that printed. I mean, it prints like this. So that doesn't, f I mean, that, that follows the layer line right there. I'm not sure exactly what that was. So again, that was weird. Uh, she does have some oddities in her cheek as well. I'm not sure if that's the filament or the printer. Maybe the filament just over extruded a little bit there. There were no under extrusions that I could find, but that might have been over extrusion right there. Just again, it's some extra ripples across there. It should be pretty smooth. And there was a little bit of support on her chin, her ears, which was just fine. And the rest of the dome, her big old hat here was also just fine. And lastly, off the SD card was this uh, vase. So as I'm spinning it, you can barely even see it just because it's all the same. It's very, very trippy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is perimeter, one vase mode, no top, uh, three bottom layers. So it holds water well. And again, it's just, it's a very detailed print because it has to go around, out, back in, around, out, back in, around, out, back in, all the way around, around. So it's a quite a long print, like eight and a half hours, I think it was for this at 80 millimeters a second. But again, it's to turn it, it's just super trippy because it doesn't look like it's spinning at all. <laughs> Either way, good print. So I did a few detailed models and I just done a ton of white prints with two other filaments that I just received in. So some projects I'd printed out in that, but I really needed, I talked about this other videos, storage. So actually back in here is holding another review filament where the rest of this spool went into that storage bin just because I have so many rolls of film laying around now, I have to use it for something not quite pretty, but more practical and printing out these storage bins is the best use for it because I don't have to go out and buy storage bins when this review film is sent to me for free. Now, again, Rep Rapper did send me some other films to test out, so other types I will test out, PLAs I will use in project videos. I was gonna use, whip out some of those if this didn't turn out so well, but it did. I mean, I literally had, did not have a single jam under extrusion. Again, maybe a little over extrusion in there. 
I do I do want to print this. I've literally this was the very first time I printed Nefertiti bust. I want to print this again uh, in another filament just to see and just to kind of compare to this one how that turned out. Maybe I'll use a little bit more of a premium uh, PLA because this stuff turns out to be pretty cheap. Excuse me. On so on Black Friday, this was thing went down to like thirteen dollars a roll. It was so cheap and the sale was so quick. Slick Deals had kicked it off their website. It was only on sale for like an hour, and a bunch of people uh, had posted saying they got it. But then some others were like, hey, you know, this must be fake. It's not there. Uh, so definitely check this out again throughout the year. See if it goes down on sale. If you're looking for like, like a, kind of like a middle white, it's a softer white. A little bit of translucency to it, but it still has that obviously very pronounced uh, opaque color once you print multiple layers. Uh, I did want to do just a regular vase mode. Uh, this probably would have been a good one for like a lithophane, to be honest. That might have looked pretty good. But either way, that'll be something that you guys could test out if you end up picking up this filament to try out. That's going to be the end of it, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, thumbs up, didn't, thumbs down. Talk to me in the comments down below. Love to hear from you guys. What you about the filament or how about I do my reviews. If you want to stay tuned what's going on, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. Get a notification when I upload new content. Do any live streams, which I'm going to try and do some more of those here in the near future. If you want to support me financially, best way to do that, down below me is a Patreon link. Click that. Donate me a dollar more. I appreciate it. It gets you access to my Patreon feed and the after show, uh, which I do after almost all the new videos now. Uh, that's a great way to help out again because I can pay for projects, do different things. I'm buying an airbrush kit that's going to that. So I thank my patrons for helping out. Other ways to support me is using the one time links down below or use any of the affiliate links in the video description for anything that you're buying. A little slice of what you buy comes back here to help me at the channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next time, happy printing.